right everyone thank you for tuning in to my motivational clean with me video i hope that you're all well and in the mood to have a nice deep clean with me hope you've got your dusters and your polish and your antibacterial cleaner because we're going to do a whole house clean today I don't know whether you're anything like me, but I always prefer to start by getting our loads of washing in the washing machine and folding the laundry that's already in the dryer to put that away. And I feel like I'm winning. Once the laundry basket's empty, I feel like I'm winning. I also had some clothes on the maiden that had been drying overnight. And as you can see, there was a couple of t-shirts that were still a little bit damp. So I just popped the maiden out in the garden with a couple of t-shirts on it and left it out there to air dry and they dried basically while I was doing the clean but it's not very often that I will have the maiden in the house but it had been raining and a majority of the things on this maiden couldn't go into the tumble dryer because they shrink Why don't we say that it's too late for us now Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down Cause in the echo of your silence I only hear what's best for me Yeah, in the echo of your silence I'm thinking more of her She who wants to study your body Who gets the better version of you absolutely love these little pumpkins that are on my dining table i purchased these from hobbycraft i was going to say hobby lobby then <laughs> i wish i purchased them from hobbycraft and you can just paint them or add some glitter i ordered mod podge which i'm going to do a little upcycle on them and add some glitter and some paint which you may have seen already in the kitchen but they're just lovely and they're inexpensive they're around four pound each and you can get different sized ones and just paint them up yourself because something we cannot get in the UK is nice fancy pumpkins. You can get them very rarely in home sense, but they haven't seemed to have any this year. buy online and they've arrived and they're much bigger than I thought typical Tony style don't measure anything just order it and guesstimate the size but these are just too big I originally ordered them for the radiator cover in the dining room to stand together or in the kitchen I actually didn't like them in the kitchen the a little my kitchen's a little bit too modern for them shall we say so I didn't like them so I've left one on the dining table and I popped one on the floor as you will see in a minute but I'm still not happy with them. They're absolutely beautiful. I just don't think they go with my style. I would love for you to let me know the perfect spot that you would think that they would fit in in my house because I just can't seem to find the spot and wherever I put them, I'm never happy or satisfied. So please leave me a comment down below and let me know where you think the two ginger jars would look nice in my house. <sighs>
peg never fails. She always just wants the cloth or the kitchen roll or just a little bit of attention and me to play with her and not clean. But in case you didn't know, our peg's actually been on a diet since she had a annual vaccination. The vets have put her onto a diet because she's getting a little bit older. She's seven and she had gained a little bit of extra weight, which she has now dropped. She's back to the weight that she was last year when she had a vaccination, which is really good. But yeah, she's a... Uh, she slimmed down a lot, our peg has. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide just like to say thank you so much to everybody who has watched liked and commented and subscribed on my previous two videos i'm absolutely blown away by all the love and all the support that you have given me on those videos it's so nice and i did see lots of comments about this orchid that's on my counter this is handmade i made this during lockdown it might have even been just after lockdown and it took me about 10 minutes i did film it for an igtv over on instagram but anybody who doesn't follow me on instagram i will include this at some point as a video on youtube because i've got another one that i want to make also and the inexpensive it, well when i say the inexpensive the vase cost me 25 pounds and the orchid stems cost me 30 pounds for all all of them that are in there so it was an expensive when the comparison of this other orchid that I took inspiration from, that's our peg snoring if you can hear her, but the other orchid that I took inspiration from was around £300 and when you think that I made this for under 60 quid, it was a bargain.
I will quickly share another food haul because you all enjoyed it last week so I thought I'll include another one so you can get some meal ideas really and see if you want to cook the same thing so I picked up my usual food order from Sainsbury's and that is plenty of water that's only half of the amount of water that I actually buy but I've put half of it away so plenty of water I've got some spinach and watercress and rocket salad I absolutely love this. I got some coriander and carrots, blueberries, strawberries, some tomatoes, cabbage and leek for one of my slow cooker recipes, some fine beans, cucumber, celery and leek, carrots, oranges, watermelon, Vivaldi potatoes, which I absolutely love. I get two bags because we absolutely love these and I cook a lot of the Slim and Whale chips. So they're our favourites. If you would like me to include how I make my Slim and Whale chips, I'll include a little picture here for you to see what they look like. But they are the most beautiful chips and they are sin free. Not a single sin to be had. They are free on Slim and Whale and I eat them. I ate them every day last week and still lost two pounds on Slim and Whale. If you would like me to include my perfect Slim and Whale chips into one of my cleaning videos, then let me know because I would love to share that recipe with you because it's gorgeous. So I've got some sweet corn, some onions, some chicken thighs, again for slow cooker recipes and for soups, some chicken breast, eggs, pasta, tea bags, fajita wraps, some stock pots, which is beef, vegetable and chicken. I got some rice, I got long grain for chicken fried rice, which is absolutely beautiful. Again, I will share that recipe with you. I got some Thai jasmine and some basmalti. Um, I got two packets of the Dreary Lane ham, which is absolutely gorgeous. 5% fat on the beef mince, so it's free and you can have it, providing it's the 5% fat. So always go for this one and it's free on Slim and World. I got a nice silver side beef joint, some pearl barley, some Caribbean style seasoning for chicken, some steak seasoning. These, I've not tried these before, these are new from Schwartz, so I thought I'll give them a go in the slow cooker, but it's Moroccan lamb casserole and chicken jambalaya, which I've never had, but can't wait to try. I got some tikka paste because I was short of tikka paste, some sweet chilli sauce, some piri piri seasoning which again is lovely on chips or chicken, lots of Muller Light yoghurts which are half a sin, they're no longer free on Slim and World, they are half a sin, some coleslaw, I got some hummus, I got kidney beans for our chilli and I got two tins of the coconut milk. In the recipe that I'm going to include in this video, it's butter chicken. I cooked it last night, so it will be included in this vlog, which you're probably going to see in the next part. And it was absolutely gorgeous. I used the lighter coconut milk. Well, you're going to see anyway, but it was absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend butter chicken in the slow cooker. And then to the sweets, that's Big Lee's, they're Little Lee's, Curly Whirlies are mine, they're five sins on Slim and World, Kit Kats are Little Lee's, and the Freddos are also mine, they're five sins on Slim and World. And that's everything from Sainsbury's, and then Lee picked up a few bits in Aldi, he picked up our steak for tea tonight, which is the Aberdeen Angus, and it's absolutely gorgeous from the Aldi, highly recommend their steak. The Sweet Leaf Salad, some torsion ham which he absolutely loves in an omelette and then chicken tikka which he does if he fancies a sandwich or a salad and some cajun chicken breasts so that is my food order for this week i hope that it gives you some meal ideas and stay tuned for the next portion of this video because it's going to be the recipe for butter chicken which was absolutely gorgeous i will leave the ingredients in the description box down below so you can just take a photograph of it and then when you go shopping you can pick up the items that are needed to cook your butter chicken the only thing you will need is a slow cooker i cooked mine 
for five hours on high. If you were going to cook this in the oven, I would say cook it on about 180 for three hours in a Pyrex dish with a lid on. This is also perfect to have on Slimming World. It's three and a half sins. I use the fat free yogurt as you'll see and I use the lighter coconut milk. Now the sins are for the coconut milk, but again, three and a half sins isn't much for such a beautiful meal. butter chicken look absolutely beautiful not only does it look gorgeous it tasted gorgeous as well and i highly recommend you giving it a try it's so nice do let me know if you do cook this recipe leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're going to try it i think it's a perfect winter warmer and i will be cooking this a lot when the weather turns and it goes a little bit colder it's definitely a meal that i will cook more of
kitchen nice and clean. We're about to move into the utility next and then obviously we're going to go upstairs and clean upstairs too but started downstairs today which is unusual for me because I do usually start up but I thought tackling the laundry was the most important thing to do today. So it's all good changing the cleaning routine around a little bit plus it feels a little bit different. It feels like my chores are a little bit different with starting downstairs rather than upstairs. I would love to know where you start when you do your housework. Do you start upstairs and then work your way down or do you start downstairs and work your way up? I start upstairs because there is so much to do within cleaning, polishing, dusting, vacuuming. By the time I got downstairs done and it was time to come upstairs, I think I'd actually leave it. So I always find it better to start upstairs because then I can't basically clean it and say, well, I'm too tired and I'm not going to do the downstairs because the downstairs is the most important. So my cleaning routine has always been start upstairs and work my way down because I'm not going to lie, I'm not that person who absolutely loves cleaning. I'm a very house proud person but that doesn't mean that I really enjoy cleaning. I find it therapeutic and it's a great distraction if you're worried about anything. It's a great distraction because you obviously have to concentrate on the task at hand. But I'm not that person who's going to tell you that I love cleaning because I don't. Give me everything and more. I said darling. What I'm doing right now is one of my least favourite chores. This is one of the chores where I really dislike it because my joints and my fingers get really sore with doing it, but it's cleaning the spindles on the banister. Is anybody else like me and they just really hate doing this? I will put it off as much as I can possibly put it off until it really needs to be done. And trust me, I've used lots of cleaning products to try and help like feathered dusters. They just don't work. You just need a damp cloth with some antibacterial cleaner on it to be able to clean the spindles and clean the dust away. But it's one of my least favourite chores. I would love to know what your least favourite chore is. Mine is cleaning the spindles on the banister and cleaning the oven. If I could pay someone to come out and do that weekly for me, I would pay someone to come out and do it weekly because those two things are definitely my least favourite cleaning chores.
didn't take much. It just needed the shutters, dusting, the floors, vacuuming, and the bed making and the surfaces just given a little clean. It didn't take long and it's all done. You say you're tired, you don't wanna fight. But I've been wondering if everything's alright. You say you love me, and that's all fine. But it's like I'm missing the passion in your eyes. Am I right? the end of this cleaning video once the bathroom's clean that's the whole house nice and clean there really is no better feeling than sitting down and knowing that the house is spick and span and you can just relax and know that you haven't got to do anything you can put your feet up and i hope that you've all enjoyed this cleaning video and that it motivated you and you cleaned along with me if it did give you the motivation or inspiration i would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and i will see you all in my next video take care everyone and i'll see you soon bye for now